Okay, we have a problem with this door. Um, basically, it's difficult to close and it's slightly out of alignment at the base. The, the gap at the lower isn't consistently in line. The top is protruding there and more alarmingly, there is a, a fault with the gearbox. The top part is not engaging so readily. We have to basically push up on both handles to get that engaged. So we'll see if we can improve on this problem. So the first thing I've done is I've gone through each and every screw and we did find a loose screw which we nipped up which made zero difference to the problem. So I've sprayed a little penetrating fluid in these holes. There's actually three of them on this door and it appears to have made a marginal difference. So with the penetrating fluid making a difference, we're going to add a bit of oil because penetrating fluid will dry up in the course of time. I'm going to oil each point in the hope that it, it reaches a stiff part. Hopefully that should seek its way in. And now it's considerably easier to turn. There is actually a missing grub screw in there. So there's a bit of handle movement. I'll have to find a replacement for that. And that explains the noise you're hearing. Before we proceed with the door adjustments, we're just going to check the tension of everything. You never know if something's worked loose. And then we adjust further. It could be a pointless adjustment. Loosen the lock screw before making any adjustments to these. And uh, when you're finished, when you've got the door satisfactory, tighten it up. And we'll tighten up the hinges too, every bolt leaving no stone unturned. So we've completed some adjustments. Basically, if we move this screw clockwise, we need to do them in pairs. Just go a little a bit at a time. Don't worry, uh, don't put the door under too much tension. It will move the hinge this way, so that moves the position of the door. Anti-clockwise will then move the door this way to the right. So we managed to retrue the door. You can see the gap at the bottom has been taken in, and the top. Um, it's not totally perfect, but we are wondering if this door has in fact warped. I'll just show you the shut lines as we pan our way down. But the main thing is. We can now open the door nice and free. The noise you can hear is it just rubbing against the brush seal, which is desirable. And it's also making a tight fit against the exterior lip seal. So the one final thing to do, and that's to check your door will lock. If it doesn't lock, a further adjustment is required. It could be the position of this latch um, check everything's tight with that and you can adjust that inwards by uh, loosening these two screws so I think I'll close the door on this job thanks for watching and why not subscribe to increase your awareness of repair possibilities.